Good morning and welcome to Sunday service. <clears throat> We're going to begin this practice seated and you can find a comfortable seat straight on your sit bones in Sukhasana with one shin in front of the other. However, for most of us seated in this way is not exactly conducive for a nice tall spine. So if you feel kind of hunched over in your easy pose, which is what Sukhasana translates as not easy for everybody, then please just elevate up onto a block. And you might want to have one to two blocks handy for this practice. <clears throat> We're going to begin to close the eyes and relax the muscles of the body and just start to bring ourselves into focus. With the eyes closed, we want to send our drishti or our focal point to the space just in between the eyebrows. And this is where we want our gaze to rest as we begin to just deepen the inhales and lengthen the exhales. Allowing the shoulders to melt down away from the ears. And allowing the breath to travel a little deeper into the body here. Relaxing the jaw, maybe licking your lips and swallowing. Deepening the breath in and lengthening the breath out. Start to feel your spine lengthen. As if you are able to ground your sit bones down into the mat or the block. Lengthening the spine as the crown of the head starts to rise up towards the sky. And softly releasing the jaw towards the chin, not dramatically, but just in a way that you've got the chin slightly tucked. In our yoga practice, we tend to utilize three specific bandhas or energetic locks that help us to not only um, contain energy in the torso of the body, but also direct its flow. And when we have all three of these bandhas engaged at the same time, it's called maha bandha. It's the great energetic lock. And so we're going to begin our practice this morning by starting to wake up some of the latent pranic energy that resides very subtly in every single one of us. Many of the yogis used to refer to this type of energy as kundalini or serpent energy that gathers at the base of the spine and its two counterparts, masculine and feminine or Shiva and Shakti. And the idea of the yoga practice is that we begin to elicit this energy to rise, crossing patterns and making its way all the way up to the crown chakra in which we essentially merge with divine consciousness. And so we're going to take the right hand and we'll fold it into a little bit of a mudra. So bending into the middle two fingers. Sorry, bending into the first three fingers. So you'll have your thumb and your pinky free. Okay, we're going to block the flow of air from one nostril to the next nostril. This is called Nadi Shodana or alternate nostril breathing. And the idea is that we are eliciting or waking up this latent energy. Now we're going to start on the right side. Okay, the masculine, the Shiva. And we're going to breathe in through the right nostril while we block the left with the pinky finger. And then as we breathe out, we'll block the right nostril breathing out through the left. And then we'll continue the cycle by breathing in through the left, blocking the left and exhaling out through the right. So get your right hands in 
in position. Thumb and pinky finger are free. The rest of the fingers are bent. And we will begin by blocking the left nostril with the right pinky finger. You can close the eyes for this. You might want to blow your nose before you start. And if you find at any point in this round that you're a little stuffy, grab a tissue before we take the next two rounds. So the left nostril is blocked. Close the eyes, relax the jaw. Inhale through the right nostril. Block the right nostril, release the left. Exhale, left nostril. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. 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 Inhale, left. Exhale, right. And release the right hand. Come back to normal breathing. Maybe closing the eyes, relaxing shoulders down away from the ears, and just tuning into what the breath feels like in the body now. And anything subtle that you might be able to perceive, like perhaps a rise in body temperature or a rise in energy levels. This is also a really beautiful practice for sinking left and right hemisphere of the brain so that we come into more of what's called a theta state of mind, which is a place uh, that we use for learning, for uh, meditation, for um, hypnotization. So it's this place where we have direct access to the malleable subconscious mind. Now, if you need to, blow your nose in between. Sometimes this can evoke a little bit of a sinus downpour. <clears throat> when you're ready, we'll begin again. Taking our fingers into that little bit of a mudra, so we're folding into the first three fingers, releasing thumb and pinky, and we'll start by blocking the left nostril. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. 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 Inhale, right. 
Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. And release the hands. Return to your normal breathing. Again, maybe eyes closed and just checking for any subtle differences that you may or may not be able to perceive. Again, maybe blowing the nose in between sets. We'll take one final round. When you're ready, bringing your hands into your mudra, releasing thumb and index finger, closing off the left nostril, lengthening the spine, shoulders down away from ears, neck is straight, inhale through the right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right. Exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, and release the hands. Get a nice deep breath in through both nostrils and exhale through the mouth. Now, go ahead and take your block. We're going to come to kneeling seated on the block. <clears throat> and you can use two blocks if you like here, stacking them on top of one another. Coming to a kneeling position in which we can feel the, um, the perineum essentially connecting with the blocks or the, the pelvic floor. <clears throat> Now the first uh, lock or banda is the pelvic floor lock. And we're gonna go through the three of them very, very um, quickly. And then I want you to think about the intention of really engaging these bandhas, these locks with the breath as we move through our practice this morning. So walk the knees a little bit closer together. I want you to feel that your pelvis is slightly tilted forward so that you've got a nice natural curvature for the low back. Now, when we engage Mula Bandha, this is the first lock, we're literally just talking about lifting and engaging the pelvic floor, which is a muscle about the length of the size of your hand. And so we wanna feel an, uh, some, some sort of a contraction in between the pubis bone and the tailbone. So for women, it's the muscle that kind of cuts off the stream of urine. And I believe it's a similar sensation for men as well, making sure that we're not just um, contracting the muscles of the anus. So you may have to lean forward slightly, palms towards your thighs. For women, this is a Kegel, so we know these postures. On your inhale, begin to engage Mula Bandha, the pelvic floor lifts up away from the block. And as you exhale, relax it back down. The block is there just for feedback. Inhale, lift the pelvic floor. Exhale, lower. The lift is the contraction, the exhale is the relaxation. Inhale, engage, lift. Exhale, release, lower. Okay, so the next banda is the effort of pulling the navel back towards the spine and lifting it up. So we want to, on the exhale, draw the navel back and lift it up almost as if we could pull the belly button back towards the spine and then up just a tiny bit. Let's take this now on the inhale. Inhale, draw the belly back and up. Exhale, relax. Inhale, draw the belly back and up. 
exhale, relax. You almost feel as if you're taking your abdominal muscles, drawing them back into engagement and lifting them up behind your rib cage. That's the sensation. Inhale, draw the belly back and up. Exhale, relax. Now let's see if we can find both Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha at the same time. So your pelvic floor engagement and the navel engagement. So on the inhale, we're going to lift and contract Mula Bandha pelvic floor at the same time as drawing the pel or the abdominals back and up. Ready? Inhale, engage and lift. Exhale, relax. Inhale, engage and lift. Exhale, relax. You see where the mind now has to be focused. Inhale, engage and lift. Exhale, relax. Okay, the third lock is very easy. It's this idea of tucking the chin towards the chest. What we want to avoid is this, bringing the chin down towards the chest, overstretching the back of the neck. Instead, I want you to think about a subtle kind of coming back with the chin as if we were sort of using the neck in engagement. So instead of bringing it down towards the chest and instead of whichever way we normally hold our head, we want a slight engagement that allows us to tilt the chin a little lower, lengthening the back of the head, the crown to the sky and drawing it slightly in. So as if that, if you were trying to exhale through your mouth, it might sort of block the exhale a little bit. You want that sensation that you're containing. We're going to add all three of these together. So tucking that chin towards the chest. <clears throat> this one you can kind of maintain throughout your practice. Chin draws towards the chest. So Jalandra Banda is engaged. And then on the inhale, we'll engage the other two. Inhale, engage pelvic floor, lift navel back and up. Exhale, release. Inhale, engage. Exhale, release. Last one. Inhale, engage and lift. Exhale, release. Now, this may feel really hard at first. That's okay. This is a very important part of the practice that we don't often get taught to us in um, a regular drop-in yoga class. So we're going to really be keeping these aspects in mind, being able to control and, and sort of contain our energetic flow as we move through our practice this morning. So taking both of your blocks towards the top of the mat just so that they are there if needed. And we're going to meet in standing at the very top of the mat. <clears throat> we'll start with a nice, gentle, easy sun salutation, thinking about linking our breath with our movement, with our bandhas, with these locks. So thinking about the inhale is always where you're going to engage that lift from the pelvic floor, that belly drawing back and up, and then the exhale is when we're gonna release, okay? <clears throat> Turn your palms forward. Soften your shoulders down away from the ears. Now there are other locks in the body that involve the, the hands and feet. So as you're standing here, lift and spread your toes and really feel that the feet are rooted and grounded in towards the mat. As we move into our first Surya Namaskar, <clears throat> shoulders up, back and down. On the inhale, engage the bandhas, sweep the arms to the sky. On the exhale, release and fold. Soften the knees so you can bring your belly to your thighs. Let your hips be where the fold is happening. Inhale, engage the bandhas, hands to shins, half lift. Pelvic floor engages, navel back towards the spine, chin towards the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, engage, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center, release. Now that adds a whole different element to our practice. Release the palms. You can see here why this is the science of the mind because there's no way that the mind escapes when the body and mind are so engaged with one another. Two more just like this, closing your eyes if you like and just linking your breath to the movement. Inhale, engage the bandhas, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, release and fold. Inhale, engage, hands to shins, lift halfway, chin to chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, engage and sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, release, hands to heart center. Release the palms. 
Inhale, engage, sweep arms to the sky. Exhale, release and fold forward. Inhale, engage, hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, release and fold forward. Inhale, engage, arms rise to the sky. Exhale, release, hands to heart center. Release the palms. Moving into version A of our sun salute. Inhale, arms rise, engage the bandhas. Exhale, fold, belly to thighs. Inhale, lift and engage, pelvic floor. Belly drawing back, chin to chest. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back to plank. Bring the knees down. Inhale, engage. Exhale, release and lower to the belly. Palms under shoulders, untuck the toes. Inhale, engage and lift. Exhale, release, palms to the ribs, toes tuck, press back, child's pose, downward facing dog. Now let's see if you can find engagement with your breath while the body is inverted in this way with hips higher than the heart. Inhaling, engaging the pelvic floor, drawing the navel back towards the spine, chin towards the chest. Exhale, release. Now what you'll find in your downward facing dog, if we're not in the correct alignment, when you go to engage your first bandha, the mula bandha, you will only be able to contract through the anus. And so this might mean that we need to soften the knees in order to lift the tailbone and the hips higher to find the right activation for the pelvic floor. Take a few breaths here if you'd like, just to release the idea of these locks and bandhas and just start to make some space into your legs bending into one knee into the other. Now, as we move through our flow this morning, we're going to hold postures for five breaths, focusing on really linking the breath to movement and engaging the bandhas in each hold, and then flowing through the rest of our movements. When you're ready, on your inhale, look forward, bend into your knees, engage the bandhas, and step forward, exhaling into your forward fold. Hands to shins, inhale, lift, halfway, engaging pelvic floor, navel to spine, chin to chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, engage, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Release the palms. Inhale, arms rise, engage. Exhale, fold forward, release. Inhale, hands to shins, engage. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands, release. Inhale, step back to plank, engage, knees down or straight legs. Exhale, lower through, elbows to ribs, chaturanga, or all the way to the belly. Inhale, engage. Notice in your upward facing, we're not lifting the head back towards the sky, but keeping that lock for the chin. Exhale, downward facing dog, five breaths. In and out through the nose. Utilizing that ujjayi breath, those audible exhales, as if the back of the throat is slightly constricted because it is here now with this jalandra bandha, the, the throat lock. We'll move through the next three variations. And I'm only going to cue the breath and the movement, you keeping the engagement and relaxation of those bandhas or locks. Think about this posture. This posture is really the worship of the God the, of the sun. This is a, a practice that's done usually with sunrise in honor of Surya, the sun god, and this idea that the sun gives life to all beings. In the same way that we are also honoring our own inner sun, the flame of consciousness. 
As you breathe in, look forward, engage. Exhale, step forward, fold. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. Feeling free to keep eyes closed. Exhale, hands to heart center. Release the palms. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Now from this downward facing dog, we can activate all of the bandhas as we look towards the hands, spreading hands wide, pressing down into the thumb and the index fingers. The feet making contact with the earth as we soften the knees enough to find the right engagement for the pelvic floor. The navel drawing back and the chin towards the chest. You're ready on the inhale, look forward, soften the knees, step or hop forward, forward fold. Inhale, engage, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Release the palms. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. And if you feel so inclined, taking this time to really give thanks and gratitude to the ever rising sun. The sun that nourishes our skin, our crops, our plants. And sustains life on this planet. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Last time, release the palms. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. You use the full concentration of the mind to rest in this posture, which is more of an active pose than it is a rest pose. As you breathe in, look forward, soften your knees and step or hop forward, forward fold. Hands to shins, inhale, lift halfway, engage. Exhale, fold. Inhale, engage as arms rise. Exhale, release hands to heart. Release the palms. We'll move into a classical Surya Namaskar, following along with me. Inhale, arms rise, engage. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to shins, engage. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back with the right foot. Lower the right knee, untuck the right toes, inhale, arms rise. Remember that you're engaging on the inhale. 
exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back, downward dog. Five breaths. Pressing into thumb and index fingers. Heels lowering down towards the mat, hips lifted high, knees as soft as they need to be. Inhale, right foot steps forward, left knee lowers down, untuck the toes, exhale. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise, engage the bandhas. Exhale, hands to heart, release. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step, right leg back. Exhale, right knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, tuck right toes, step back, downward dog. Five breaths. Feel the engagement of the bandhas. Engage and release. On your next inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, tuck left toes, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Release the palms. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Right foot back, right knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Step back, downward dog. Five breaths. Using the energy of the body to press into the hands, really feel that the sides of the body are reaching, chin drawing in towards the chest. Breath is strong. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left knee down, untuck left toes. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Release the palms. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back, back knee down, untuck the right toes. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold, step back, downward dog. Five breaths. Staying committed to the quality of your breath, to the alignment of your body, and to the engagement of the bandhas. On your inhale, step right foot forward. Exhale, left knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Last time, release the palms. Inhale, arms rise. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Step right foot back, knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Step back, downward dog. Five breaths. Inhale, step right foot forward, left knee down, exhale, untuck the toes. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Release the palms. Surya Namaskar, B. Inhale, bend your knees, sweep your fingertips low and forward, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fold, place the hands down, step back to plank. Knees down or straight legs, exhale, lower. Inhale, heart lifts, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, hips back. Five breaths, downward dog. You find the engagement of your breath. And allow the engagement of your breath to help you engage and release through the bandhas. Pelvic floor engages, navel draws back and up, chin softens towards the chest on the inhale, releasing it all on the exhale. Keeping your mind focused on the engaging and releasing on the energy of spreading hands and feet wide. On the intention of building energy in the body. Ultimately, that serves as a way for us to find liberation. That is the practice of yoga, moksha, liberation. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Exhale, left heel down. Inhale, arms rise, warrior one, five breaths. Sink into your right knee. Find your bandha engagement on the inhales, chin to chest, navel drawing back and up, and pelvic floor engaged. Exhale, release. Three more breaths as we sink steady into our Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Virabhadrasa, the spiritual warrior in the Hindu text that goes to battle in the most righteous of ways. Channeling for ourselves that own inner warrior that helps for us to make the right action throughout our days. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back, downward dog. Reconnect to the breath, five breaths here. Full engagement of the arms as we reach, reach, reach. Setting the hips back, lowering the heels. Full engagement of the bandhas on the inhale and releasing on the exhale. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, pull your right heel down and in. Heel to arch alignment. Inhale, arms rise. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, five breaths. In this pose, your belly is facing sort of out to the right side, but your shoulders begin to square facing the top of the room or the mat. Left knee in line with left hip as we sink into this posture, pressing into the outer edge of the back foot and really feeling that all of our feet are engaging and active. Palms might be coming together with elbows bent. On the exhale, fold. Plant the hands. Step back to plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly or halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. 
exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. Now we skipped a vinyasa in the middle. If you feel so inclined for the next four rounds, please feel free to take a vinyasa after every warrior pose. Now softening in the knees, looking forward on the inhale, step, hop, or float to the top of the mat, forward, fold, belly to the thighs. Hands to shins, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips low, reach fingertips forward, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, stand tall. Release the palms. Inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips low, reach fingertips forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back, downward dog. Five breaths. Connect back to your breath, that engagement of the bandhas and the release. Stay strong and engage through all of the limbs. Maybe starting to notice a little bit of flexibility creeping into the body now. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left heel down. Inhale, arms rise, warrior one, five breaths. Squaring the shoulders. Right knee lines up with right hip. Pressing into the outer edge of the left foot. All toes and the feet are spread wide and pressing down into the mat for full engagement, drawing the ribs towards the hip line and moving through the engaged bandhas, inhaling pelvic floor, navel drawing back and up, chin towards the chest. Exhale to release. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step back to downward dog or to plank this time, your choice. Exhaling to lower and inhaling to lift into your cobra or upward dog. Exhale, hips back, downward dog, five breaths. Feel the full engagement of your body here. Whoever told you that downward dog is a resting pose is lying. This pose is very, very engaged. Thumb and index finger rooted down into the mat. Chin softening towards the chest, shoulders away from ears. Hips high, knees soft perhaps. Heels floating towards the earth. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, right heel down. Inhale, arms rise, warrior one. Palms are facing each other or together to touch. Shoulders down away from ears. Relax your jaw. Sink into your left knee. Don't compromise the back ankle by allowing the foot to kind of settle. We want to really engage that back foot. So pressing into the outer edge of the foot to make the ankle stronger. Spreading the toes wide and using all 10 toes to help with balance and stability. Can you find that engage and release? Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back to plank, knees down or straight legs. Exhale to lower. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Inhale, look forward, soften the knees, step, hop, or float to the top of your mat, forward, fold, belly to thighs. Hands to shins, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips low, sweep fingertips forward. Exhale, hands to heart center, stand tall. Release the hands. 
Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the fingertips forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back. Inhale and plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, back heel down. Inhale, arms rise, warrior one. Engage through the back leg. Sink into the front knee. Find your, your banda engagement on the inhale. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back to plank, inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right heel down. Inhale, arms rise, warrior one, five breaths. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, five breaths. For our last round, I'm just going to cue pose and breath and keep silent in between for our holds so we can really start to channel that sense of concentration, deep, deep, undisturbed diana or concentration. Look forward, inhale, step, hop or float. Exhale, forward, fold. Hands to shins, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the fingers forward. Exhale, hands to heart center, stand tall. Release the palms. Inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left heel down. Inhale, arms rise, warrior one. Five breaths. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back, plank, inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right heel down. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, warrior one. Five breaths. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog, five breaths. Inhale, look forward. 
exhale, step or hop to the front, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips low, reach arms forward. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now we're going to begin to lower all the way to seated, however you'd like to get there. Coming all the way down onto your seat. We'll extend legs forward, remove extra flesh from the sit bones. <clears throat> Palms beside the hips, rooting down into the earth. Spine growing tall, shoulders up, back and down. And you find your engagement of the bandhas here. So we soften the chin towards the chest. This time I want you to find the engagement on the exhales. So think about your inhale as filling the body with energy. And as you exhale, you want to contain it. So engage the pelvic floor, feel the navel draw back and up, chin softens towards the chest. Let's do five rounds like this. Inhaling to release engagement, exhaling to engage the bandhas. Inhaling to release, exhaling to engage. Inhale to release, exhale to engage. Inhale, release, exhale, engage. On your next inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. And as you exhale, begin to fold forward, hinging in half from the hips and letting your palms land anywhere they like as you offer the body to the legs. Relax the head, the neck, the shoulders. Allow the body to be heavy as you just connect now to the fullness of your breath, releasing all of the other instructions from this morning's practice. And think of this fold as in many ways in yoga, we consider that it's a bow, that we are in reverence, not only to the God of the sun or the sun that illuminates all life, but also to the inner sun of our own consciousness folding into ourselves as an offering of subservience. <clears throat> subservience more so to our highest nature, to our consciousness versus subservience of the body to the mind. This is our effort of really unifying. The word yoga means to yoke or to unite. And so we are making one body, mind, and spirit. What typically happens is body is subservient to a mind that is full of ego and desire. And so when we purify the body through practice, the mind through discipline, and we are able to unite to the two with spirit, with consciousness, with that inner sun. Big breath in here, lift and lengthen, come halfway as if we were in a standing forward fold. And then exhale, rise all the way back up. From here, we're going to lower all the way down onto our backs or Shavasana before rising to enjoy a bit of a seated meditation together. So starting to lower the body all the way down, taking arms and legs nice and wide and maybe grabbing for yourself anything that you might want for your Shavasana, socks, a blanket, sweater. And then taking the first few breaths to really just release this practice. Potentially a lot different than some of the other classes you have done. And just releasing any preference for or against. But storing some of what we've learned in your mind's eye so that you might bring these and integrate these principles into any class that you take. Lift your lips and swallow. Now in your Shavasana, closing the eyes, resting your, your drishti or your focal point on the space between the eyebrows with eyes closed. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And relax into stillness.
begin to bring your awareness back into your body. And bringing your breath more consciously back into your lungs. And starting to invite some small movements with fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. your time to stretch the body, arms overhead, maybe knees into the belly. Taking your time to slowly start to rise up to seated, meeting in that same pose, Supasana, easy cross-legged pose that we started. So perhaps again, elevating the hips on a bolster or a block. <clears throat> We're going to meet in the seated position, bringing the thumb and the index finger together to touch and lifting palms upright. And this thumb to index jhana mudra is ultimately to invoke wisdom and clarity. Begin to close the eyes. And again, bringing our drishti or our focal point to the space between the eyebrows as we lengthen the spine to sit tall. The only focus of this meditation is to rest our awareness on the incoming and outgoing breath. No thoughts. Gaze at the space between the eyebrows. And watching the flow of breath as we inhale. And exhale, allowing our awareness to rest just there. very slowly starting to blink the eyes back open. Very short meditation. We'll work on extending and prolonging that. Let's bring the hands together at the heart for Anjali Mudra. This is our hands in prayer position. We're going to close our practice today with one Om and three Shantis. And there is a traditional chant that is sung with Shanti. If you've joined me in studio, we have yet to actually sing it. So I figured from the safety of our own home, perhaps you might be more inclined to give it a try. When we close Shanti, just as a reminder, it is an offering of peace to first ourselves, second, those in our life, our friends, acquaintances, family, and lastly, to the collective at large, to the entire world and all sentient beings. And it's a very simple melody. Shanti, 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 that follows our own, okay? And it's done a little slower than that. So feel free to take a stab at it with me. It's not about singing as much as it is about the vibration that we're creating with the throat and really, um, you know, unifying our being with these vibrations, in this case of peace. Let's take a cleansing breath in through the nose out through the mouth, inhale for OM, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Be 
peace, peace, peace. Thank you so much for joining me this morning for Sunday service. We're going to continue to build on to this class with lots of different um, intro introductions of philosophy. And this is really my favorite, favorite part as a teacher. So stay tuned um, as this class continues to grow. Have a beautiful rest of your week. And don't forget to sign up for your favorite classes.